Hey, in today's quick video, let's go ahead and take a look at what it would take in Maya to turn tries into quads. So for example, um, I downloaded just literally a random uh, 3D model from Sketchpad. Uh, it's kind of a old phone and I think it's a perfect uh, model to use as an example to see how we can take some of these uh, tries and turn them into quads in Maya. And let me show you the model so I can give credit to the artist. So in Sketchfab, I just typed in uh, old phone as a search and I just grabbed uh, this guy right here called old phone. All right, so th this is the model. And then if you want to see um, what the topology looks like, you can, of course, click on wireframe. You can see that the model has some uh, tries and it is a perfect uh, model to use as an example for this tutorial. And I will include the uh, link to this artist in the descriptions in case you want to follow along and download the model as well. All right, so I'm going to jump back into Maya. All right, so once you have your model uh, brought in, um, the, uh, the way it works is really simple. All you need to do is just simply select the portion of the model that you would like to turn from tries to quads. And under modeling tab, just go to mesh and you'll find something called quadrangulate, which is a really crazy word. Um, I'm going to click on options and in here you can see I have a few different options, right? So once this is selected, I can simply click apply and that's supposed to technically turn this into quads, right? Um, in my case, I need to turn off keep hard edges. So I'm going to deselect that and say apply again. And you can see how simple that is. So Maya automatically will take um, the mesh and attempt to turn it into quads. Let's do the same thing with Discord, for example. I'm gonna say apply. And of course you can select multiple pieces, but I, I found it's better to do one at a time so you can keep track of it and maybe uh, play with some settings and see if that's to your liking. So that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna double click on this guy and do uh, apply as well. And you can see how you can quickly uh, turn something that is try heavy into quads, right? And it's uh, actually a lot of fun. And sometimes you do need to um, go in and manually, of course, clean up certain things, especially if it comes to characters. But I just wanted to show you this uh, quick little tip. And uh, hopefully you'll find it useful in your um, 3D modeling uh, stuff that you do. All right, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next video.